everyone welcome back um so today my recipe is lentil and black bean tacos so i am going to show you how we made the lentils or how i made the lentils so i just bought it from the store like this um the reason why i chose this recipe is because we get a lot of um lentils from the food pan at the food pantry um and a lot of people don't like using them or don't want to use them maybe they don't know how to use them um so that's what one of my recipes is i hope you guys like it um so what i did was the recipe calls for half a cup so all i did was take a half a cup out of here and i just kind of cleaned it so i took a strainer um rinsed it off and then i added it to a saucepan um which i'm going to show you in a few minutes and then put uh, one and a half cup of water in there and kind of just let it simmer for about 15 minutes um, until all the water was gone. Um, next, I will be adding our black beans. So I just, I went, I shopped at Safeway, um, but I got the low sodium black beans um, in a can. It wasn't very expensive, so it was, it's actually really nice. Um, I know before when we were getting the dry bags, I gave you guys a lot of black beans so if you want to put those to use you can um and then i have the tortillas so the recipe calls for a wheat tortilla um i didn't buy the wheat tortilla i just grabbed any tortilla there was um but if you want you can always cut it in half you don't have to eat the whole thing um and then i'm gonna add a little bit of baby spinach on there and then some of the things that i'm gonna put on top of the tacos are onions bell pepper and cheese and that's kind of weird but that's what i had in my fridge so that's what i'm going to use so um i want you guys to come look at the lentil and the saucepan and then we'll go from there all right so here i have the lentils in my saucepan and so i just put the water in there and kind of let the water um the lentils soak up all the water so that's how they look um, and then I'm going to add the black beans. Um, so this is a whole cans of black beans. And all I did was strain it with my strainer and rinse it. So this is what I use for the lentils and the black beans. Um, so I'm going to add about two scoops of this. I'm not going to use the whole thing. Just, um, just enough. So two of these into the black beans. So just mix that up. There you go. And then I'm going to add all of our seasoning to it. So pretty interesting. Um, I had um, ground cumin. I had garlic powder. And I had chili powder. And then I actually had to buy oregano leaves today. So that's going to be something new. I haven't taken off the top. So it's still brand new. I'm going to use this today. But so let me open it. There you go. And I'm just going to open all of these so we know which is what. So we are going to add one tablespoon of chili powder. So my one tablespoon, I'm going to add that. Seems kind of like a lot. I don't know, whatever you guys want to do. Yeah, a tablespoon. It's a lot of chili powder, but if you're not a chili person, you can always add less it's all up to you and then we're gonna add one tablespoon of cumin so ground cumin all right add that to it and then we are going to add any or garlic powder and it's going to be half a tablespoon so it's going to be this for garlic powder so there we go Oop, add that to it i don't have um a fourth cup so i'm just going to do half of this kind of spread those out and then we're going to mix it all together there we go Add those spices together and on this side I have my tortilla warming up so it's all up to you if you want to warm up your tortilla I don't know if you like cold tortillas whatever you want to do so here's my little sauce or my I guess this kind of takes the 
the meat of it. Um, so we're not using any meat. We're using beans. It smells super delicious. Um, so we're going to take this back to the table and then I will decorate it for you. So super easy recipe. You can use this for dinner or for lunch. It's all up to you. Okay, guys. So I cut my tortilla in half. So there it is. Um, and then I'm going to add, I forgot to add garlic powder when I was adding all the, or onion powder when I was adding all the seasoning. So I'm going to add that. So it's a uh, half a tablespoon of garlic powder. So I'm going to add all that into it. And I'm going to stir it up. So in this recipe, your beans are more of uh, replacing the meat portion of it. So there, as you can tell, there's no meat. I'm not cooking any chicken or beef or anything like that. It's just bean and the lentil lentils. So uh, I'm going to add that to the tortilla. So just add a little bit. So there we go. I wish you guys were here to try it because I usually cook for you guys. But here it is. Um, and then I'm going to add my ingredients that were in my fridge. So I have some cheese. I have some bell pepper. And I have some onions. And I have some spinach. So I'm going to just add a little bit. Just take a little bit of Add it onto it, kind of chop it up a little. All right, there you go. There you have it. Our lentil and black bean taco. So, since you guys are here, I'm going to try it, which, you know, in the class, I never, I shouldn't say I never, but I usually don't try after cooking it. But let me, it might be better as a burrito, but however you want to fold it gonna kind of fold it up as a burrito very good guys definitely taste of black beans all the vegetables on top you can taste the seasoning I hope you guys really try it we'll see you guys later okay.